Hello, hello, you people in YouTube land. How do you do? Where am I today? Well, looks like this place I'm at has a roof. Am I lost? Am I getting lost? Nah, I know where I am. I'm here at Amoy Street Food Center. It's a food center which has two floors and filled with good Singapore food, hawker food, delicious, delicious street food that hungry office workers come here to eat at this place. And we're coming to another old store that has been here for a very long time, which is called Li Sing Nasi Lama. And here's the menu and the prices of what they charge for their food. And here, this place sells out early. So do come early. If not, no Nasi Lama for you. And this is what I ordered. The combination here, the dishes here, cost me $3.90. So what you have here is you have cooked rice, which is cooked in coconut milk, which has a nice fragrance, a bit savory. And then your selection of side dishes. For me, I chose an omelette, some ikan bilis and peanuts, fried chicken meat and a fish fillet. All this goes together with the nasi lemak chili, the sambal that you see here. Yes, this is what I have. So, are you ready to rumble? Rumble in the jungle? So, an important thing for nasi lemak is first of all the chili. The chili here is sweet, sticky, thick, almost jam like. And then, of course, next is the rice. The coconut rice here, cooked in coconut milk, gives off a delicious fragrance, a bit savoury, but goes very well, pairs very well with the chilli. Savoury coconut rice. Then you have this really sweet, thick chilli sauce into the rice and then I also ordered some uh, chicken billets which will add the crunch the deeper texture of uh, the chicken billets and peanuts yeah. so that you will mix it together yeah, this proportion here savory sweet chili sauce with crunchy chicken bilis or deep fried anchovies and peanuts so you have a nice firm rice slightly coconut flavor the rice by itself a bit savory then add to that a bit really sweet spicy chili sauce then Crunchy bits, which is the ikan bilis. Mm. So this one is a because of the chili sauce. It's a very Chinese style uh, nasi lemak. One. I like to order the fish today, but the fish today needs to go the chili sauce.
why I really like this guy, because we... Wiley. Right now. Probably 50. That was definitely interesting. Mm, not the best SMA I had, but there's some good points. I go back to chili, the rice. Other items are quite normal. Chicken wing also is not bad. Not bad. Um, we cook it very really early in the morning, so now, but that it's not bad. It's just that it's not as crispy as it should be if it's very freshly fried. But other than that, I do enjoy the nasi lemak, even though I don't eat it often because a lot of times you store uh, sold out early. So you come here during normal lunch time, it's already finished or you're going to sell out soon. Yeah. So you don't come here, order immediately, no, you may not get to eat. Other than that, no complaints. And besides nasi lemak, Another place that I come to quite often, to this place, at this food center, I normally come for a break, a coffee break, at this store called Coffee Break. And here, they do sell the traditional type of coffee that you sell uh, in Singapore, but they also have the flavoured coffee too, which is also another popular item that they sell. So, what I ordered from here, it's the Kopi C and it cost me $1.60 You might say that the $1.60 is an expensive price for a coffee but they do give you much more coffee than your normal uh, coffee shop Look at the cup So this is the Kopi C Gosong They make good coffee here Hot coffee, delicious coffee, strong enough, flavorful enough, and place to come if you like coffee. I must say, at this food center, they do serve one of the better coffees here. And not only can you get traditional Singaporean coffee, you can also get the flavored kind, you know, with all the different types of flavors which they do sell. And those coffees are popular too. I think it's a good hot cup of coffee in the morning. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed what you see here so far. As per usual, you know what to do. Like, share and subscribe. And I got Patreon, I also got Paytel. Support me on those. Or just watch some of my old videos. I got lots and lots of old videos where I visit all the different food centers in Singapore. I think I must, I must have visited I must have visited more than a hundred food centers already. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure. I will see you guys around. Bye bye.